Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is The Mom Logs. So as you probably know from the title of this video, today I'm going to be sharing with you what is going to go into our kids' stockings. If you happen to have clicked on this video with little ears around um, it would probably be best suited to not watch it at this time. So I just wanted to film this video just so that I could share with you some ideas of what me and my husband are getting for our kids for Christmas. If you're unfamiliar with our family, they are two little boys and they are two and four years old. Um, I'm hoping that these gifts will give you some sort of an idea of what to put in your kids' stockings if you're looking for ideas, which I'm assuming you are if you clicked on this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. First, I'll share with you what our stockings look like. They are from the website personalcreations.com. Um, I ordered these, I think this is our third year using them. I'm, yeah, I ordered them after my youngest son was born. They are personalized and um, they are the Knit Argyle um, stockings off of that website. Um, I feel like they're really reasonably priced and they're really durable and they will fit quite a bit inside of them. So we went to the zoo a couple weeks ago and when we got back, my older son, he really wanted to play zoo, but we don't have a lot of animals, like little like trinket sized animals. So I got um, this pack of um, animals, it's just like, you know, the animals in a tube almost. And this is the endangered nature tube and it comes with endangered animals. So I see an orangutan, a wolf, and I'm hoping that they can um, like make a little zoo out of Lego Duplos or something like that. So I'll put this in Jack's stocking. And then in Ben's, I got one that's called Down on the Farm. And it comes with farm animals, a farmer, a bale of straw, and a tractor. Um, I picked up both of these from Hobby Lobby and they were 50% um, off when I went. Um, so this one was $9.99 and for some reason there are different prices. This one's $10.99 maybe because it comes with a tractor. I did try to make everything like fairly even so they had the same amount. In the chaos of Christmas I'm sure they won't even notice as they're opening but um, this was another thing that I found from Hobby Lobby. My son Jack really really likes to draw. Um, and I thought this pen would be fun. It is called Centos, and it's because the ink is scented, and then it gives a list of everything that it's scented, but I had these pens when I was growing up in like the 90s and early 2000s, all different kinds of ink, and then you just like push the little tab down and that specific ink color will come out of the pen. And I thought this would be really fun for him. It's got a cute little Santa on it. And then because Ben's not very into drawing or his attention span just doesn't last as long, I got this um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, it is a joking around letter rip sound machine. If you're a boy mom, you will totally understand this. It <laughs> emits toot sounds. Um, a different toot sound with every button and I just thought that he would get an absolute kick out of this. It's really funny. The second I saw it in the store, I'm like, oh, this is for Ben. The next few things I picked up from Joann's, the first one is Flash Racers and these are pullback cars and then when they, um, when you send them forward, it, I don't know, it must have some sort of mechanism in it, but it makes it, it like generates electricity or power or something and it makes them flash with light. This is what they look like and there's three different ones. My kids love cars. And then for the other stocking I got these things called laser fingers. They really like f anything with like a flashlight or they like to do the laser pointer for the dog and cat and I figured that these would be a little bit safer than them using the laser pointer but they are called, it's called laser fingers and there's a diagram on the back of how you do it, but you just basically put it onto your finger and then turn it on. And you could put them on like all your fingers or whatever you want and then they can shine them. I'm sure they'll find some creative, weird way to use them. Also from Joann's, I got them each one of these um, 
They're like one of those koosh balls that were really popular and probably like the 90s. I hadn't seen them in a long time, but I had one when I was growing up and really liked it. And I figured it would be good for like, I don't know, like, like textile, like you can play with it in the car. This was just like a random thing that I picked up from Joann's for Jack. He um, just recently started chewing gum and I got him a six pack of bazooka bubble gum. He's been working really hard on learning how to blow a bubble. So I thought bubble gum would be perfect. The next two things I picked up from Target Dollar Spot. They are these cute little Play-Doh keychains and each Play-Doh cup comes with a little um, Play-Doh, like a cookie cutter. Each one of them has a little dragon cookie cutter and a shark cookie cutter and I got them each red and blue. I, they did have, um, the other sets were uh, more feminine like green and pink. So I just got them the same ones. Also from Target for Ben, I got him one of, um, it's called a spinning snow globe and it has like little styrofoam balls in it and then when you push the um, button, it just like spins around and lights up blue. They have one of these that they use that was in their Easter basket from my husband's mom and they really like it. It's like a chick that spins around so. I thought if he got this one, then they would each have one to play with. And then for Jack from Target, I got this um, bubble gum ball machine again because he's been into gum lately. Told me that he really wants a vending machine, but I had I already had all of their Christmas presents purchased, so I thought that this would be um, a safe substitution for um, the vending machine that he wants, and it does come with the double bubble bubble gum balls. The last non-food thing that I got, this might seem odd. I don't know, I just like to let my kids be themselves and do whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anyone. So to each their own, but they really like having their toenails painted. So I found these at Target and they are called Piggy Paints. I've seen these online before of like moms of usually little girls, but um, they talk about these a lot and they don't have any, um, they're like kid friendly, non-toxic, super low odor. So I got a blue one and a green one. I don't know who will get which one, but I just thought that it would be cute for them to have their own little nail polishes for their toes. And then from the Target dollar spot, I got these chocolate coins and I didn't realize it when I got them, um, but they are for Hanukkah, but they're like little, they have um, a Star of David and a menorah on them, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. They'll like it anyway. They're just little chocolate coins. I got one for each of them. And then the last thing I got to go in their stockings, I picked up from the Dollar Tree and it is just a chocolate Santa. Just like a, a foil wrapped one. So that is everything that I picked up for the kiddos for their Christmas stockings. I hope that this could give you some ideas of just like some stuff to pick up to put into your kids' stockings. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from me in future videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll see you next time, bye.